Uh, my dream job as a kid was always to be a firefighter. Uh, I just didn't, I didn't know about smoke jumping. I didn't really know about wildland firefighting. I grew up in a city. It was a different career path than everyone else, anyone else that I uh, grew up with. Going through boot camp was definitely a, a pretty challenging time. The, the five weeks that you're here, you're kind of pushed mentally and physically. For me at least, it was a bit competitive at the beginning because you're not sure if you have a job yet when you get there. And by the end of it all, you're just a tight family. Like you make some of the best friends you'll ever have bonding through that five weeks of training. Even when it's slow, fire-wise, we have lots of work between getting our fire gear all back together. We're packing parachutes and we're repairing everything. At the sewing department, there's lots being constructed and built all the time, building all of our own equipment. We have the sewing machines and all of the correct materials to basically rebuild our parachutes. When we're in the airplane and we uh, spot the fire, there's uh, a lot of excitement. People usually just crowd around all the windows and try and get as best of view as they can um, to try and size up the, the fire that we're going to be going to. Guys are looking for the drop zone, they're looking for the exit point, the possible exit point, uh, they're looking for a water source, they're looking to see how big the fire is, what the fuel type is, and uh, any type of hazards that they're going to encounter on the jump as well. The second you leave the plane, it uh, kind of feels like you're in a washing machine. And then as soon as you get through that and your parachute pops open, it's dead silent. As soon as you touch down from your, from your jump, that's kind of when the real work starts. Um, everyone works hard to gather all the gear together, get all of your pumps and hose and everything, and chainsaws and all your gear. Everyone kind of picks up a task and just starts uh, working quickly as efficiently as possible. It's one of the most satisfying feelings you can get just sitting around the glow of the campfire with some of your best friends in the middle of absolute nowhere after working as hard as you possibly could all day.